Yo, what's poppy gamers? Welcome back to a brand new bad business video. I just want to start off by apologizing for my voice. I am a little sick still, but we have a brand new M870 shock and revamp to go over. I'm actually super excited for this because you have a ton of ammo conversions on this. Probably the most versatile shotgun we have in the game. So it's kind of exciting, but also can be scary in some scenarios. But anyways, besides the point, let's get in and show off the sound of the weapon, the reload, uh, and the inspect, which all are subject to change, by the way. Anything that I show in this part of this could be different when it launches, uh, hopefully later today, like it was planned. But here's the sound of the weapon and the pump of it as well. The reload sound and the reload animation, which looks sick, by the way. And then for the inspect, which I do not think is final, by the way, I think we're going to get a different one than this. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I don't like that. So hopefully we do get a different one. The running animation with it looks like this. But for attachments, we have nothing new for optics. But what is pretty cool, you can put on a two time right here for the slug rounds, which is pretty cool. I do wish we had one sniper scope or at least an ACOG uh, since we do have the option of slugs. For the muzzles, we do have exclusive muzzles. Once again, we have the V choke, slightly increased accuracy. We have the star choke, slightly increased accuracy. The duck bill vertical, which decreases horizontal spread. We have duck bill choke, decreased vertical spread. Uh, crazy eights choke. Uh, it has no pros or cons right now. And then we have competition choke, clustered shots and reduced base spread, uh, light suppressor, light uh, sound suppress, slightly increased accuracy and cons decrease damage range and heavy suppressor. We have sound suppression, increased range and cons decrease ADS speed. For the barrels, we only have one option, which is the extended barrel. Uh, I was going to go crazy with barrels, but I felt since we have so many pump options, uh, we don't really need too many barrel options. I definitely could have did differently on this. There's other limitations that I can't talk about uh, when it comes to barrels, but yeah. For the pump, we do have invader pump, decreased spread, decreased fire rate, tactical pump. Here's what that looks like. The tactical pump, decreased spread and cons, increased bloom and decreased handling. That's what that one's looking like. The quick action pump, increased fire rate and increased spread. Uh, by the way, look how fast you can shoot this thing. Let me just show you guys real quick. Oh my God. <laughs> Next up, we have marksman pump, increased ADS speed, decrease ADS spread uh, and cons decrease mobility. And that's what that's looking like. For the heavy pump, we have increased recentering, increased uh, recentering speed and decreased recoil as long as increased spread. And that's what that one is looking like. For ammo, we have a ton of options here. This is pretty cool. Uh, we have beanbag slugs, single pellet, increased range, increased velocity, cons, decreased mobility. Obviously, you're not going to see any differences here, so won't be showing those. Uh, snake shells, increased pellets, increased fire rate, and also increased ADS speed. Cons, decreased range, increased ADS spread, and decreased ammo. Slugs, uh, single pellet, increased damage at range, increased velocity. Cons, decreased mobility, ADS speed, and also hip fire accuracy. Uh, boosted shells. Increase headshot damage, decrease spread, and cons increase recoil and remove ADS spread bonus. And we have a seven round magazine, which is always fun. And lastly, flechette shells. Uh, this this one specifically, besides the slugs, that's one thing. But this one right here specifically has always scared me because of Phantom Forces days. Flechette was crazy. I think it was nerfed uh, now, but it used to be insane. Uh, pros decrease ADS speed uh, spread increase piercing increase range cons increase camera shake uh recoil speed and reload speed for under barrels we have all the same you could just put a regular grip on the shotgun if you want uh for grip nothing changes here it's just your regular stuff for stocks we have a total of six options we have the precision stock increase recoil speed uh decrease ads spread and ads recoil cons decrease ads speed and ads mobility that's what that's looking like. Uh, short stock. Uh, pros, increased mobility and also ADS mobility. Cons, decreased recoil spread and increased visual recoil. What that's looking like. Marksman stock, decreased visual recoil and decreased recoil. Uh, decreased handling and mobility for cons. And that one is looking like that. Stubby stock. Pros, decreased spread. Cons, increased ADS speed, recentering speed, and bloom. This one definitely does not seem correct because why would it... Oh, I guess it does increase your ADS spread, not speed. There's definitely gonna be a lot of testing with these attachments, I'm gonna be honest. Um, tactical stock, 
Uh, pros, increased mobility. Cons, decreased handling. That's looking like that. And lastly, the striker stock. Pros, increased crouch accuracy, increased handling. Cons, remove enemy, regain delay, and also increased visual recoil. And it's looking like that. Yeah, I would love for you guys to leave some comments down below. What is going to be your go-to build? I'm probably definitely going to do something with a quick action and maybe the seven round mag. Uh, and I'm probably going to pair that with this stock. I don't know, this just, this shotgun right here just looks awesome uh, in itself. And I can't remember, I think the crazy eights choke was like what everybody used back uh, for the other shotguns. I can't remember. I guess we would either throw on lightweight or sleight of hand, probably lightweight. And that gives us 103 mobility. Oh, we're gonna be zooming with this. Check this out. Yeah, this is gonna be sick. Reload speed's not too bad, so you don't even need sleight of hand for this. Alrighty, to quickly go over the skins for this, let's go to challenges, and we can showcase all of these. Um, I don't think I wanna go through every single kill mastery. You guys can just assume, here's what blue diamond looks like. You wanna see that? Oh, there's like a little texture on it. I see that and also here's obsidian these are typically the main two people care about when it comes to the kill mastery stuff not me i i like the other ones <laughs> yeah that's kill mastery here's the weapon mastery damascus bronze interesting choice of color this could also change by the way here's the second one they could definitely change these skin zones when it drops just a heads up up oh, here's damascus gold and obviously for the loadout mastery it's going to be the same stuff i'll show you hue that's what that is looking like. Honestly, I don't really mind uh, the color options here. But sometimes I always feel like the, the gold portion of this, which right here, was always too much on weapons, but I don't know. They're likely going to swap these, but that's what that stuff's looking like. But that is pretty much coming in the next update. I don't know anything about what operator is being added in. I don't know if these are the ones that they plan on doing. Uh, but I think this is just old stuff. So these are placeholder, I think. But anyways, I apologize once again for my sick voice. Uh, and you guys will probably hear this voice in a couple different videos. So just a warning uh, for our next couple uploads. But yeah, that is the brand new M870 coming to bad business. I'm super excited for this. And I cannot wait to make a video, a best class setup video for you guys uh, here real soon. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.